Hello everyone, so welcome back again to my channel. This is Elsie and you're watching Elsie Tutorial. So for today, I'm going to check um, the newly installed custom room in my Samsung Galaxy G7 Prime. This is Alt F4 made by Eloxrain and ported by Frasharp. So thank you, thank you so much for making out this room. I will um, put all the names in the screen guys for the, cre for the credits for making out this good room so let's get a continue so this is now the lock screen of the room guys where there's alt f4 logo here and the um, chinese font in the bottom so this is now the home interface of the room and the room my first impression impression of this room guys is really smooth responsive but there is a really really big downside in this room because it drains quickly the battery drains quickly in this room guys like i charged this last night it is fully it was fully charged and then when i woke up this morning there is a 74 percent remaining in my battery but i haven't used the phone yet and now we are now in 57% of the battery there is a 57% remaining in the battery so maybe the kernel would be the problem maybe the kernel would be the problem in this room so anyways let's set that let's set that aside let's continue in the um good side of this room so first um, this is not the bloatware of this room. There's quite few bloatware here So that makes the phone fast and smooth because the bloatware is really really few where there is a File manager Samsung Galaxy store smart tutor play store Chrome phone messages camera gallery clock contact settings calendar smart 21 and the Sun services or the same services in the Ada the Ada though is I is installed that manually via the play store so actually the bloatware is just a basic um, application that we need every day so now guys let's gonna head into the settings of this room but first let's head into the developer options so this is not the developer options in this room yeah so actually the minimum or the DP of this room guys is 540 here it's 540 that is why the the screen is really it looks cute actually so we're not done the developer options in this room let's gonna head into the about phone so this room guys is based on Galaxy J6 here we have a name here and yeah, the model number is SMJ six zero zero G D D S. This is this room, guys, is based on Samsung Galaxy J um, six. And this room, though, is based on Android ten with One UI two point zero on top. This is Android ten, guys, and the kernel version of this room is Aris kernel version seven treble as you can see here and the android security and this room is september 1 2020 so it, that's a software information and one more thing guys um this room is a 32 bits uh this is a 32 bit mode room this is not a 64 bits so that's all we are now head into the battery information so there is nothing to worry about here because the battery capacity is correct 3300 mAh and all feature features in this room guys is working except the blue light filter is not working as you can see here blue light is not working but all the other features are working like Wi-Fi, mobile data, sound, Bluetooth. The flashlight is working here. 
and Wi-Fi calling is also working and Volt TE is also working in this room. There is also screen capture, screen recording, and a mobile hotspot is also working here. And there is a smart view location. Dark mode is also working like that. And this also has a uh, focus mode and Also, the brightness is also working here. Like you, I hope you can see. Um, yeah. There is no bug in the brightness like the other room. Like when you're setting the brightness into zero, this room will not give you a black screen like that. Like because other rooms, guys, if you set the brightness into zero, it will give you a total black screen. But this room is not. So, I think the room is really good, but the only downside in this room is the battery. It will drain so fast, like, you even not use your phone, it, it just drain itself. So, that, that's it anyways. Yes, here, uh, phone is all working, messages is all working, like that, and the camera, the camera is no bug, no bug on camera. The camera guys is working, all features in this room is working except the blue light filter. And the battery problem of this room it will drain so fast but one more thing I will show you guys the Ada information about this room so let's head into the system here I hope you can see clearly because I not using a good camera I'm just using a cell phone and this is not the CPU so as you can see this it's a 32 bit mode but it's overclocked it's 1797 the clock range although we all know that the stack room gives at least 1.6 so so that is my review in this custom room guys and if you want to flash this room into your Samsung Galaxy G7 Prime, don't forget to download the room. I will put the link in the description box and for the installation step is please do a um, clean installation, wipe all the data, format all the data and flash the room and then reboot your phone. So that's it. But if you're facing um, stock both logo after installing the custom room or after installing the alt f4 i will recommend that you flash the universal repartitioner so that you have a four gigabytes of system size of partitions so that's it hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up comment share and also subscribe in my youtube channel and turn on the notification bell for you to be updated whenever i upload a new video so that's all for today's guys that's all for today's video guys see you on my next video don't forget to try out this room into your phone and have a good flushing